Welcome to Santo, Sam and Ed's Total Football. Good goal scorer right here. Can you please welcome John Aloisi? Yeah. Yeah. Highlight from ANZ Stadium. Don't Actually, say been, it. Don't say, has it been usurped? Yes. I definitely think it has. It has. Yeah, that was we, the... uh, we won a cup. We yeah, won and, a cup. And so it's the first time in our history to win something. Mm. So the achievement's uh, much bigger, I think, than the Uruguay night. Take away your, anal take away your analysis hat. You're a fan. How, what did you feel that night? How was it, as a fan, how did you feel? It was an incredible f uh, feeling because I don't know if uh, anyone was watching on show. I know that Sam, you weren't watching it live. Were you? <laughs> Where were you, Sam? Where were you? Yeah, actually, let's get to this. Where were you, You Sam? weren't at the game. You weren't at the game and you weren't at home. Where were you? I, I, I was seeing Billy Connolly. Um, <laughs> why did you agree to that? Because I uh, love my partner very much. That's <laughs> why. She got tickets ages ago before we knew it was on, and so I had to go. But I'll tell you, be so proud. As of an me. Asian Cup ambassador, you didn't know the final. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me finish. But you IQ'd it, they said? You know, you've changed a lot. Since <laughs> <laughs> I used to come on, we'd have a good time. No, now no, you're just bringing no, the truth. Did you IQ? Absolutely, I kid. And also, in the modern day, you'll be proud of me. In the modern day, when the it is what? the modern day, What's the that? modern day, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You'll join it soon. <laughs> there has never been a tougher time to try for a media blackout. Right. Oh, no. So with the, the the house lights came on, mm. and I taped it, and I was just going home. Yeah. People were coming up to me saying, do you know the score? Oh, no. I had to take the back streets to my car. Yeah. And somehow I got home without knowing the score, and I watched it from 11.30 to 1.30 at night. Did you watch time, time six? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't watch the first half, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, it was—I uh, don't know if you know—but it was a great result. Yeah. yeah. So you're you're in the studio there with the other boys mm. from, from Shooter, and you've you spent the whole tournament watching, analysing, and then the game just starts. So in my living room, I was jumping up and down, going crazy. My wife telling me, "Calm down, we've got neighbours." Mm. Were you? What are you doing in the studio? Well, literally uh, jumping up and down, going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was. Uh, I started to picture back to 2005, the Uruguay game, and yeah. when it went into extra time, I was thinking, how did any supporter watch it? And, yes. and, and it was, tell, know, I'm it telling was, you, it was tough going. It was, yeah. and, and this game was tough going because it got into, went into extra time, and I was thinking, oh, please, we, we have to win somehow. Yeah. And, yeah. and the boys came out in extra time and completely dominated we the opposition. killed him in extra time. Right? And I think that was Ange, what yeah. he said to him. You, you know that he gathered the thoughts, and then he, he started uh, saying what he had to say and, uh, and you know, made it. Made him work, John. Yeah. And was it it was it Ange's rotation policy throughout the tournament? That also, do you reckon we you kept our noses ahead, or do you reckon it was pure adrenaline on the night in terms oh, of the, how we kept going? The, the rotation uh, would have worked yeah. because you know boys were fresher. Mm. But then there was other boys like uh, Massimo Luongo, Sainsbury, Matt Ryan that played every single game, that started every Massimo game. Massimo Luongo was still fighting after yeah. 20, 120 minutes. Yeah. He was still fighting for it, balls. It does help that he's twenty two years old. It does. So. <laughs> it does. It and does. Uh, but we we did look uh, very fit, and that, that's a credit to all the coaching staff. Yeah. Um, I just it, I just want to say uh, the excitement of the Asian Cup is gone now. Uh, you know, kind of for me. But all, how great is it, though, John, to have the A-League back? Um, <laughs> we just see here, I'm, I'm talking about uh, the skill. <laughs> the awareness. <laughs> the awareness is magnificent it's here. Thank you, the decision. It's <laughs> and also, of course, you, the deadly finishing. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> This is the toughest one for me, John, because this is your this is your old side, uh, Melbourne City or Melbourne Heart, uh, Ian Ramsey. Do you think the problem was that he used to take cues from Michael Mifsud? Uh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Mifsud gag number 641. Oh, well never done. Stop. I don't like that guy. You don't have to answer no, that. No, That's no, fine. No, it is great that the A-League's back on. Yeah, it I is know great. that yes. uh, you're showing that. Not the great highlights. No, we're only happy. Happy. But, we love uh, the A-League. Matt Mackay and... See, the uh, voice of reason. Yeah. The voice of reason. Yeah. Matt Mackay and Nathan Burns actually played they last played night. And uh, after celebrating, I don't know how they did that. Yeah. They must have drank. John, I was going to ask... That was a bit of a diversion there to, to, to the A-League, but and but we just saw Ramsey's finishing there. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and, and one of the things about the A-League is we do see great goals, but sometimes the finishing isn't great. Massimo Luongo, I know he's playing at Swindon Town, and we spoke about how he, he, he young kid, 22, the goal that he scored, not only an important goal, if we could see it as it's happened, not only an important goal, right, but the technique. Now, you're a striker, that's 
Uh, he didn't have much of a, a look on goal. This is the one. This is this is the angle that's he's amazing fight, to me. He's fighting off the Korean captain's See, key. His balance is unbelievable. When you look at that, you just hit nail on the head. His balance and yeah. uh, you know he wasn't really involved in the game until that moment, and there wasn't much space there. His first touch took mm. him away from the mm. the defender, and then his second touch actually uh, allowed the ball to go, but uh, the body the ball and the defender there and as soon as that happens he gets his arm up mm -hmm. and his strength to hold him off and then have the ability to strike the ball like that it was brilliant and mm -hmm. uh, I think that this kid here he can go a very long way into being a real star for Australia because wow. uh, the whole tournament he was great it and was. to do it on the biggest stage it was amazing and again Ange had faith in him no and no we've got to remember the first time we had Ange on when he yeah. became Socceroos coach yeah. And, we, and remember he was going on that tour of Europe mm -hmm. and Asia, and I think he went to Disneyland for a while. <laughs> and, he, and he was going around looking at eligible players. And do you remember, we finished the show, we are taking our mics off, and we said to Ange, we said, oh, Ange, you know, is there anyone in particular that you like to look off? The first name he said, he said, I like to look at this kid, Luongo. Mm. And he was over there to have a look, and now he's, you know, paid off. But, John, of. that's the interesting right. thing about, the, the, we seem to have these young players in Europe, but they're not lost, but, you know, Tommy Urich, uh, mm. You know, he left. Was he Adelaide? Young kid in Adelaide. No, from Western Sydney. From Western yeah, Sydney, yeah, yeah, was he? Yeah, okay, yeah. but went to ended up in Croatia. Yeah. And no one, and people had sort of lost track of him a little mm. bit. I mean, do we have these? Uh, uh, have we got these sort of like little lost treasures oh, floating no, around? There's places? always uh, some players that are over there, and they've been there from an early age, mm. and uh, and that's why Ange went over to have a look. He would have got a, a sheet of names, and he would have had to look at every single one of them to see what they can do. And uh, but he's got a good eye for a player, Ange, and yeah, right. uh, Masmalo. Longer. He's, he's playing at Swindon, which is the mm. third tier of English football. You wouldn't have thought that he could have played at this level. And, uh, and he just showed that he can and he, he will go to a bigger club very soon. Can I uh, stay with Ange too? Because, you know, in the last six, ever since the World Cup, to the World Cup to the Asian Cup, you, and you were one of his defenders in terms of, you know, like we, oh, we joke about the 1 0 loss to Qatar. I think I was the only one on this table that was defending him. <laughs> 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 you were saying we're going to win. Even though you hugged him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I hugged he's him. A, he's I hugged a Judas. Him. That was a Judas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, hugged him. I hugged him and whispered into his ear, You're doing the wrong thing. <laughs> no, I was, you, you know, in the last six months, since the World Cup, yeah. he has, I would have thought, quite obviously been uh, picking teams and just seeing players and many pundits would get uh, kind of hung up on the results and you were one of the few that said oh, don't worry about the results he's just seeing who he wants to pick for the Asian Cup well if he didn't uh, play Mas Luongo in these games during that period because he didn't make his debut at the World Cup he played in this uh, six month period oh. since the World Cup uh, Sainsbury, who uh, made his debut against Belgium, tough, uh, yeah, because tough. He was injured for the World yeah, he Cup, was a uh, tough unlucky. place to go. Yeah. Um, if he didn't try and test 43 players, he wouldn't have been able to start them in this uh, Asian Cup. So he knew that he had to give them a chance mm -hmm. and in hostile conditions and uh, to see what they were made of. And then when the Asian Cup started, he knew which players he could count on. Mm -hmm. And uh, so credit to Ange. Uh, a lot of people were asking if he's doing the right thing. The results weren't there. We we're conceding a lot of goals, but uh, we didn't... practice really... matches. You know, yeah, well, that's right. They were friendly games to get prepared for the Asian Cup. And how big is this now? Now, in three years' time, we've got Confederations Cup, which is just the perfect lead-in to the World Cup in, in, in well, in three and a half, four yeah. years' time, yeah. I guess. So it's just the perfect build, isn't it, really? Because there's a few pl uh, players in this team that have cemented their place in that side and now can keep working together. And the future does look really rosy. Well, it does. Uh, our average age was 26, uh, the starting 11 on Saturday night, and uh, Timmy Cowell brings it up quite a bit, mm -hmm. along with Mila Yedinak and uh, Mark Milligan. Uh, so we've got a very young squad, and we can only get better uh, from this. And uh, we've got nine games in, in 12 months now. Mm -hmm. uh, World Ger Cup qualifiers start yeah, in June. World okay. Cup qualifiers, yeah. we've got a friendly against Germany. And so we're, we're playing a lot of football now. Being in the Asian Confederations does help, yeah, uh, doesn't it, though? because we can yeah. play a lot of games. Well, well, it's funny you should say that, because... <laughs> There has been some and we talk. didn't talk about this before. No, we didn't. <laughs> come on, come on. No. But because now there's talk of... <laughs> you have gone rogue. You've just, you just come on here and do whatever you want. Now. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, back to what we were saying. <laughs> is that now they're saying some people in the Asian Confederation don't like us. Yeah. They want to yeah. kick but us is out. Is, is, that, that is that a beat up or is that just, real? Just, it, it's real. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's real. I it's real. Thank you very much. Because, and, and you and I both agree yeah. that good. 
Good riddance. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm over it. Now that we've won mm. the Asian Cup, I'm over it. I still... Oh, no, no, no. Well, I'm an Oceania up. guy. Always <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Oceania guy. I know you are as well. Yeah. We're in the Oceania camp and yeah. we've been beating this drum ever since back in 2000... And you two have already forgotten, but John and I remember when John and I put together this fantastic Oceania DVD. Spending performances, professional wins, workmen like draws. This is how the soccer was qualified for South Africa. A bit boring, isn't it? Do you learn from the way we used to do it? Then the glory days of Oceania is the DVD for you. Australia 31, American Samoa, nil. I feel like 13 against American Samoa. Tonga, nil. Australia 22. I put away six against the old enemy, Tonga. I played for Australia 32 times and got only one goal. That was against New Caledonia. 13, that's a quad triple hat trick. Plus one. I never realised Australia was so much more powerful than us. 22 nil. That was a sweet, sweet victory. We crushed them. 11 to 0. It just kept coming and coming. I got five against the Solomon Islands. 13 nil. Even Bozza scored in that game, and he was our keeper. <laughs> the glory days of Oceania. It comes with a full list of scorers. I'm so glad they go through Asia now. The glory days of Oceania. I love them, and you'll love this. The glory days of Oceania. Out now. Don't buy this DVD, it's crap. <laughs> We'll be back there. Just say what, say what you said to me in my ear when that when that started. Uh, that was before I coached. You looked a lot, <laughs> yeah, looked looked a lot, lot young. younger. You yeah. did look a lot younger. Please thank John Aloisi. of Fox Sports.